The dining room has really changed very little in the last 80 years. The original fireplace is of polished brick and to the right of it are built-in cupboards for crockery and as in the sitting room at the bottom of these there are a couple of sockets to connect a wireless set to the electricity and also to the earth and to the aerial that's up in the loft so that you could just bring a wireless set along and plug it in and play. And like in the lounge we're lucky enough to find a room-sized carpet that uh, goes rather well with the decor in the dining room. So again, whilst it's in very good condition, we are protecting it with lots of these smaller carpets in the, the high traffic areas. And Jasper has joined us for a wee cameo. One thing that has changed, of course, in the dining room is this year we have moved to home working. And this is my partner, Todd, who is keeping the wheels of industry turning. And as you can see, we, we still use this as a dining room, but we've set up our home office at the far ends there. This is one of the appliances that we use in our dining room. It's a hot point glass sided turnover electric toaster. And you see here on the box it says turns the toast over for you. And that costs 50 shillings no tax. So that's uh, £2.10 shillings, which is quite a bit of money 80 years ago. And this is the, the toaster itself. It's got two glass sides and these both fold down so that you can pop a piece of bread in each side to toast it. And the element that does the toasting is this bit in the middle. So what happens when you put in a piece of bread? Well, we've got a piece of bread here and what we're going to do is put it there and side A is going to go up and get toasted. And it means that we can see side B through the glass side of the toaster. Now that's not very helpful, I've found, because nothing is happening with side B. All the action is in the middle with side A, which you can't see. And the only time at which you know that it needs turning over, unless you're a psychic, is when smoke starts to come out of the top. So you pull this down to rescue your toast, and look what happens. Now side B is being toasted. Does it really turn over the toast for you? Maybe a question for the Advertising Standards Agency.